One in eight women in Ireland will develop breast cancer during their lifetime. Due to increased awareness and also mammographic screening, we're catching breast cancer much earlier. So the vast majority of what are known as hormone receptor positive breast cancer patients, and they can be treated effectively with hormone therapy. The challenge is whether we should actually also give chemotherapy. People are familiar with the side effects of chemotherapy, hair loss, vomiting, it can also actually cause cancer, secondary cancers. You're very careful about deciding to give chemotherapy to patients. We were working on trying to find a new test to predict those early stage breast cancer patients which had a low risk of what's called distant recurrence where the disease spreads around the body. If we could identify those patients and predict that they have a low risk, we could potentially just suggest to them to avoid chemotherapy. We found this signature, we found this novel test, and so that test actually can be used very accurately to predict patient outcome, and therefore use that information for determining the most appropriate treatment strategy. We license this technology from an academic environment into a spin-out company, you know, validate the test, but also ultimately it was acquired by a US company a couple of years back, and that US company has great kind of market penetration, and, and hopefully this test will come out worldwide over the next year. In terms of potential benefit to patients, one in eight individuals in Ireland, but also many other countries worldwide, will experience breast cancer during their lifetime. So there's a huge number of individuals where this particular technology could be beneficial to their treatment. A lot of cancer research is sometimes abstract in nature. You know, you're, you're working in a lab and working with various different materials, and it's sometimes difficult to see the endpoint. With this study, we're able to discover something new, validate the technology, bring it into a company that could commercialise it, and then get it out into the clinical market to benefit patients. 